Hi and welcome to another episode of ASIT. Today we're going to discuss troubleshooting and diagnostics. So troubleshooting and diagnostics. And to better understand, we are covering BIOS and CMOS. BIOS and CMOS. So let's start with the BIOS. Basic Input Output System. So basic, just like the name says, input, anything going to the computer and the system, output, anything coming out. Example of input would be keyboard, mouse, thumbprint, microphone. Example of output is monitor, speakers, printer, and so on. So basic input output system so it's dealing with the input and output uh, example of that are all the hardwares like uh, all the peripherals the IOS the inputs and outputs uh, also hard drive optical drive floppy drive uh, all of that good stuff so there is a chip physical chip and it is the shiny one is the small one also with the silver uh, linings on the outside so it's very small we made it bigger just for you guys to understand it's called ROM read only memory read only memory it has program inside of it and the program is called BIOS so it is a chip physical chip which hardware and it has a program which software called BIOS and together we call it firmware technical firmware is a software so the type of memory that is in RAM is permanent. So it is permanent memory. And the first job it does is when you first turn on the computer on the on and off switch, you can see it's zero and one, right? When you power it on, it's gonna get power from the wall through the PSU power supply unit. Then it will get power. This chip will get power once it gets power through the motherboard, of course. So the PSU will give power to the motherboard, and motherboard will give power to RAM, and the RAM will wake up this program, and this program will do its first job, which is called uh, POST, Power on Self-Test. Once it does the test, it will check on everyone. It will say, hey, is everyone alive? Hard drive, uh, optical drive, all the IOs, inputs and outputs, are you there? Keyboard, mouse, are you there? Then the results will be two. The results will be either things you can see on the monitor and things you can hear on the speakers. Example of what you can see on the S, it will come in either clear English or error code. Clear English or error code. So the clear English would be something like keyboard not connected. Errors would be something like and by the way, I made up this error. It's not real error. Uh, error code 0x1134. So if it's error code, you have no idea what it is. So what do you do? You are going to Google it. You're going to put Google error code 0x1134. And it's going to tell you exactly what the problem is. Otherwise, it will tell you in clear English, keyboard not connected. Just, that's just a simple example. Or you can hear it on the speakers. Example of that is beep sound. The beep sound could be short or long. Example of that is beep, beep, beep. So I just told you two short beeps, one long beep. Another example. Beep, beep, beep. One long beep, two short beeps. So that means something. I know you heard a lot of beeps before. That means something. Okay? So just Google it and put on Google two short beeps, one long beep, whatever you heard, put it there and you'll get the results and you'll get the answer. And pretty much that is what it does. The two major companies, there is more than two, but the two major companies that make 99% of buyers are Phoenix and Ami Pius or American Megatrends. There are other companies 
Some companies nowadays, they make their own bias, like Dell and so on. So that is BIOS, basic input-output system, and that's the job it does. And that after that, once it does this testing and it gives you the results, then it hands responsibility to the OS, whatever OS you have, whether it's Windows, Ubuntu, Mac, Linux, and so on, then the responsibility will be taken over by them. That's it. Next, CMOS. CMOS is complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Metal, that's a hardware, semiconductor electricity. This deals with two things. It deals with settings and data. Settings and data. And when we talk about settings, we're talking about passwords, we're talking about language, we're talking about date and time. In order to better understand, in the old days, there used to be two separate chips. There used to be the Southbridge chip, and there used to be CMOS chip, two separate chips. Now they integrated, they put it together into one chip, so that's called the Southbridge, and here you go. So the South Bridge, its main job is the IOs, inputs and outputs. However, in this case, it does that job. On, on top of that, it does the CMOS chip job also. So what does the CMOS chip do? It deals with the settings and data as we talked about earlier. So if we took example of the password, there are three major passwords. There is more than that. The admin password the, or the supervisor password. In computer language, we call it admin password. So CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor, metal semiconductor. So it is a chip again, and that chip is right here, south bridge. Uh, there is another bridge, as you can see, there is the north bridge and the south bridge. Both of them are called the chipset. Both of them are called the chipset. So we're focusing on south bridge today because south bridge Originally, Southbridge used to be separate, and the CMOS chip used to be separate, so now they integrated together, they're called Southbridge. So, Southbridge, it deals with the IOs, inputs and outputs. However, today's topic is CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor, which deals with the settings. The settings, in this case, some of the examples of the settings and data are passwords, and what type of passwords? We summarized it in three. There is more than that. Admin or supervisor, uh, hard disk drive password, system password. Also language, uh, date and time. So we're talking about setting up your device, your, your system, as soon as you power it up. Like when you power it up, then you press some type of a key and that will get you to this screen where you can play with the settings. So in order to see that, you need a program, and that is the BIOS. So the BIOS program will allow you to play with the settings, to change the settings. And the CMOS chip is where the settings are saved. And the power to save that and to keep it saved is the battery right here. That's the CMOS or the coin battery, which is 3 volts. This lasts 3 to 10 years, 3 to 10 years. I call it the example of the clock, all right? So this clock right here, right now, as you can see, is showing the right time, okay, and the right date and everything. So this thing right here, this clock, I call it the CMOS or the South Bridge. The battery is the CMOS battery. This is just analogy, right? So right now, if I take out this battery, all these settings will go back to the original settings, like 12 o'clock, date and time will change, everything will change, temperature will change. So same thing, right? Same thing. I call it the example of the clock. It's easy to remember with the example of the clock. So. This battery here, small battery, will give power 3 to 10 years to the south bridge so it can keep these settings the way you did it. 
Let's say you forgot the password or you forgot any of these settings. Now you need to physically open your box, your computer case, whether it's laptop or desktop, and then remove uh, this jumpers from its place and leave it outside or put it in another place, in another setting. So the jumpers are like this, which we're going to show you later on. Or remove the battery or both of them. Now we call these settings that you play with, that you change date and time, language, boot order, the password, all of that. We, I call it the example of the dashboard. Just like in your car, you're sitting, you're holding the steering wheel, you can change the gears from drive to reverse to park. Same thing, you can change these things. Also your speedometer, uh, the one that cleans water, uh, like when it's raining, and so on. So that ends CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Next, we're going to discuss three famous keys in order to better understand these troubleshooting when you're dealing with it. When you're repairing your computers, uh, while you're using BIOS or CMOS. So for example of a desktop, right here, you have the CPU underneath of this, uh, actually right here, right underneath this, okay, and this is the north bridge, this is the south bridge. So our focus today is the south bridge. This is the chip that I talked about earlier, that is where the settings are. This is where the settings of the CMOS are. This with the shiny silver things around it, rectangular one, it is the BIOS. BIOS program is in here, and this chip is called ROM, R-O-M, read-only memory. And here is the CMOS, or coin battery. Here, this blue thing, it is the jumper. So this is the jumper. You can take it out. See? It is actually uh, very nice, very beautiful, but in the old days there used to be jumpers all over the computer, but not anymore. So just going to put it back. When you put it back, make sure you put it the right place, otherwise it's going to mess up. So what do these things do? One more time, BIOS is in here, and this chip is called RAM, read-only memory. CMOS is in here. This chip is called South Bridge. This battery is called CMOS battery or coin battery. It gives power to the South Bridge so it can keep the settings there for you, whatever settings you have done, like the passwords, date and time, and language. So that is for a desktop. Let's take a look for a laptop right here. So the laptop right here, this is the this is the uh, CPU underneath of here. This is actually called heatsink. Underneath of this, it is the CPU. This one is the north bridge, and this is the south bridge underneath here. And this is the CMOS batteries, black in color right here. Okay. So for laptop too, similar, you can see it. Same idea, just different size, and sometimes it's harder to get into it, to open it. So that ends where the BIOS is, where the CMOS is, how you reset the password, and so on. Once again, thank you for watching ASIT theory slash lab videos. See you next time.